Hi guys, it's Alex from Style Jungle here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're exploring Lake Tekapo. This is one of the most kind of postcard locations of uh, New Zealand. Lots of people come here uh, because they see this place on Instagram or on, on the web. Uh, this place is absolutely magnificent uh, and it looks very different uh, in every season. So let's say in spring you can find lots of lupins here. Um, in uh, winter obviously there is um, snow uh, on the top of the mountains. In summer it's just amazing, beautiful colored water. Um, in autumn everything is uh, uh, golden around here so yes uh, lots of uh, things to see here it's a short drive from our Rocky Mount Cook if you're staying there at the National Park like we do now so we're spending kind of half a day here um, we are here for a very specific reason we are going to do a stargazing tour uh, this evening so uh, we still have a couple of hours before that and we want to show you a couple of spots here in Tekapo to inspire your next visit here. Church of the Good Shepherd is actually the synonym of Lake Tekapo. All the pictures from this uh, place uh, feature this amazing church. It's one of the oldest in New Zealand. If you're interested in photography, this is a very good subject. Not only it's amazing architecture, but also this place is well known for its dark sky. So if you're interested in astrophotography, this is a place to come uh, in spring. Amazing loppings here, so uh, you can take a picture of this lupin field and uh, this uh, church at the back. So lots of opportunities and obviously if you just want to learn more about this church and uh, enjoy the atmosphere, uh, you're welcome to go inside. Lake Tekapo by itself is a very interesting place uh, to visit. There is a couple of spots from where you can access kind of the most beautiful parts of uh, the lake. One is being behind the famous Church of the Good Shepherd, uh, which is right behind my back. Uh, literally like three minutes walk to the shore and uh, absolutely amazing view to the lake and to the mountains at the backdrop, stunning. Also when you're driving on the main highway there is a viewing platform, viewing point, uh, just literally one minute before you enter um, the Lake Tekapo uh, village. So um, you, you can also do walks and uh, obviously you can climb some of the hills around and get nice 
uh, beautiful view of the lake. If you are looking for a place to eat in Tekapo, uh, we discovered this uh, tiny bar, or burger bar, uh, which is called Our Dog Friday. Uh, actually amazing place, very nice interior, um, a small but very good menu, uh, lots of burgers to choose from. Yeah, it looks like an amazing place to spend uh, your evening there. Um, say if you're waiting for stargazing uh, or like in our case to have lunch we're starting Cohen Hill uh, walkway it's gonna take us approximately from one to two hours to complete the loop it's uh, four and a half kilometers long and uh, it's gonna take us around uh, around the hill obviously and uh, around uh, Tekapo so from the map at the very beginning uh, we can see that basically all the landmarks of uh, Tekapo are included in this walk uh, so yeah we're very excited So one and a half hour later we are back to where everything started here at the Church of the Good Shepherd and um, the track itself is quite nice to walk. I can't say it's something you really must do if you are limited in time. So let's say you have just half a day or one day in Tekapo. I think you can find some better things to do. Uh, if you're spending more time here, this is definitely something you're gonna enjoy because uh, you are uh, going to the far side of the lake. Uh, some views that you're not getting if you're just stopping here at the most popular spots. Uh, so yeah quite good and if you want to extend your walkway a little bit you can go to the regional park over there there are lots of tracks so either walking or mountain biking tracks or you can go to the village and uh, go around the village it's gonna take you approximately i don't know maybe a half an hour more to do that uh, but anyway we're back to the church and it's getting dark this is when all the fun starts so we are gonna do the stargazing
So about stargazing, unfortunately we weren't so lucky yesterday to actually see real stars, it was very cloudy and at the Dark Sky Project uh, Tecapo they said that uh, weather conditions uh, weren't so good, so they replaced our tour with an uh, indoor uh, kind of tour inside four different rooms where they actually share some knowledge about telescopes and how planets work and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think that's a fair substitute for uh, uh, you know the tour that we really booked. Uh, yeah I can't say I had a lot of fun on that tour and uh, I don't think it's fair to pay $99 per person to actually uh, learn something that you learn in school. They offered other options so you could uh, rebook for another date or you can uh, get a voucher and use it uh, throughout the year but uh, for us we're based in Taranga so it's not an option to actually you know get a voucher and get here um, anytime soon. Uh, so yeah, that's the story, but actually when we got back home um, The sky kind of cleared up a little bit so we were able to film a short time-lapse of the night sky uh, It was very very amazing. So this is it from us for today We hope you enjoyed being with us and having a walk around Tekapo and seeing some of the beautiful sights of this place in New Zealand uh, unfortunately, it wasn't like we planned, but it still was quite a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that like button and we'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.